I'ma stay touching all kinds of paper And I ain't never gonna give a fuck about a hater Cause I know, oh, I got soul, baby This is your boy Patai. This is Guy King TV. We back at it again. Now, what I want to do in this video is just take motherfuckers on another level. Oh, and that's another thing. In my videos, I curse. So if you don't like cursing, don't listen to my video. Uh, this video right here, I want to take it on another level when it comes to dealing with this red pill energy. Because keep in mind, my channel is a spiritual red pill energy. I don't deal with the lower level of mundane aspects of red pill, not saying that they're not valid, but this channel is for men who are trying to go on another level with the spiritual game. So what I want to do is take you on the journey, going down the journey of astrology. Now, in terms of astrology, utilizing this tool will save you a lot of time when it comes to dealing with women. If you don't know by now, Astrology is a great divinational tool in terms of understanding cycles. Also being able to not necessarily profile people, but you can have a better awareness and understanding of people, why they do what they do, why they act the way they act, everything, right? Uh, you'll know who you're dealing with because we're always talking energy. We're talking energy, right? And if you don't understand energy in terms of dealing with metaphysics, divination, then you got to go and read that book and, you know, chapter 101 on that one, man. But let's get into it, right? So when you're dealing with astrology, one of the best things about astrology in terms of dealing with women is that if you know your chart, first of all, you got to know your chart. If you don't know your chart, then you should be getting a motherfucker. You should be getting a reading. You know, if you never had a reading, uh, link up with me. I'll, I'll do a reading for you. I'll send you my rates and all that stuff. And then we can get you on the path, right? Because one thing you want to do is you want to know your chart first. The reason why you want to know your chart is because you want to be aware of yourself first before you be getting into astrology and, and using it to understand how to date with it. Now, I'm an advocate for dating with astrology. And what do I mean by that? I won't date no woman if I don't know her astrology chart. If I don't know her natal chart, I'm not going to date her. Why am I not going to date her? I'm not going to date her because I don't know where her motherfucking moon at, her Venus at, her Mars at, her Jupiter. I want to know everything in her chart so I can know how complimentary it is to my chart. You know, uh, there's nothing wrong with dealing with women who may have certain things in your chart that may get squared. Or there might be oppositions. Now, keep in mind when we're talking about astrology and using it to date with, you're not necessarily looking for a chart that has all trines. You're not looking for a chart that has all sextiles. You're not looking for that. You're looking for a chart that is complementary to yours. Because what you're essentially doing when you're dating somebody in terms of getting into a relationship with somebody is you're looking for somebody who's going to help keep you in check in terms of developing and y'all develop together. You help her develop, y'all develop together to be complementary to your yourself as well as to each other, right? You're, you're using each other as a catalyst for stimulation and growth. Now, with that being said, based on who you are, you will understand why you may attract certain people at certain times. You'll know why you attract certain people, right? And that's why you want to look at your chart so you can know that. And when I think about my chart, I always know the type of women I attract because I know where my Venus is placed. I know what type of women I attract because I know where my moon is placed. And I know how those uh, interactions usually take out or they play out, right? So in astrology, you want to look at your Venus. You want to look at your Venus first because you want to be aware of the type of woman that you find yourself attracted to. Sexually, right? The Venus in a man's chart determines the type of women and the characteristics and attributes about a woman that he finds himself attracted to, right? Then you look at the aspects. Now, what aspects do you have to your Venus? You know, those those make a, a, a great point in your chart when you start to look at them. For example, I always use my chart as an example because I don't mind. My Venus tries Uranus. Now, with Venus trying to Uranus, I like my woman to be a little weird, totally different than the average woman out there. I don't like the, the regular woman. And what I mean by that, I don't like a woman who's just, just 
just like city girls or or she's too sedity or she's this or she's that. No, I like a woman who's original. And I mean that in the term of her being herself. She's nothing like nobody that I'll ever meet. And every single woman has to be like that. They have to be original. And I know a lot of women and a lot of these motherfuckers out here are clones. So I seek originality over everything. I don't care how good you look. Are you original? Are you you? Those are things that I value, right? In terms of what, the way my Venus is set up. It, 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 it trines Uranus and it opposes Jupiter. So with me, I like women that are caring and giving and has a big heart. They have to have a big heart. If you ain't a sweetheart, I don't want to fuck with you. You got to have a big heart because I got a big heart. You got to compliment me. I don't need no stingy bitch. I don't need no bitch who don't want to fucking give. I'm a giver. So these things is what I set value on when I look at a woman because my Venus aspects, right? Now, this is where you learn to look at your chart and see what it is that you value in a woman that you value in yourself when you look at your Venus aspects, right? So those are things that you want to learn about yourself first. That's why it's important for you to know your own chart before you worrying about using it to date with somebody because you want to know what complements your chart. That's going to be very important, you know? Got that vape break. Now, you also want to know where your moon is. And some of the placements that I'm giving, you want to check in their chart too. You want to check their whole chart. But what I'm talking about right now is your chart. Where is your moon? You want to know what sign your moon is in. You want to know what house is in. You also want to know what aspects your moon have. Now, why is the moon important in astrology? As a man, the moon is also, it's pretty much like your first mind in terms of understanding. Because guess what? Your mom is your first teacher, right? Your first teacher down here is your mom. The moon is your mom. So we're talking about your emotional nature. We're talking about where you get your emotions from, your subconscious mind from, right? That's the moon. Now, when you break it down a little deeper in astrology, the moon is also the women, the mother, the women in your domestic arena. You see what I'm saying? Your home life in terms of how you deal with your cousins, your family, it highlights a lot of that, right? The type of the energy that you deal with when you deal with women. The moon on a esoteric level is also the feminine mind of yourself in terms of how you relate to your emotions. Now, the thing about emotions is as a man, we all got them. So how do you utilize your emotions? How well are you in tune with your own emotions, which is your inner own feminine energy? How well are you in tune with it? Now, why is this important? Because if you got motherfucking moon squares, nigga, that means that off the rip, you had issues with your mama like a motherfucker. Now, why is that important? Because your mom set the template for how you dealt or had a perspective on women. How did you look at women? How did you view women? You know, and from there, it sets on the template on this is how women are. Because based on my first teacher, my mom, you're going to deal with women based on that to a degree. Not all women, but there will be the majority of women that will trigger you to have to look at yourself. Now, it's not necessarily the women all the time. It's going to be you because you got moon squares, which means that you will have to learn to deal with your emotions. You're going to have to learn to get a grip on your emotions. You're going to have to learn to, at some point, forgive whatever type of interaction it was that you grew up with your mom on to make you look at women this way. And you're going to have to nurture yourself. You have to be your own goddamn mama nigga. You have to nurture yourself. Now, why is that important? Because that's important for you to understand when you start to go and date. It ain't always going to be the women. Just because you're a man don't mean that she's overreacting. It could be you. And you're not in tune with your own emotions. Now, I say this because I'm giving niggas game on how to utilize astrology when it comes to dating. You want to know your chart first. Now, you want to know your Mercury. Of course, you want to look at your whole chart, but I'm giving you key points to look at in your own chart before you go to dealing with a woman and using astrology to do it. Look at your Mercury. Why? Because communication is one of the foundations of dealing with a relationship with somebody. How do I communicate? You want to know how you communicate because when you look at her chart, you want to look at her Mercury too. You want to see how she communicate. You know, what type of aspects do you have to Mercury? How have this worked for you in your own life and how will it affect somebody else? You want to know that because you want to look at those aspects. 
No, do you got Mercury squares? Do you got Mercury trines, sextiles? What do you got? Mercury oppositions? What do you got? You want to look at it. Vape break. You want to look at it. You want to know, do I come off mis misleading? Do I come off not being able to comprehend other people? Do I come off feeling like I'm being misunderstood? Or do I misunderstand other people? Do I come off assuming too much? Do I come off not talking too much? Do I talk too much? All these things. You can see those type of things in your chart based on the aspects to Mercury. And what they aspect, what planets touch them. Those things are important. You know, you want to look at that because when we're talking about dealing with uh, relationships, once you get a handle on your own chart, what is going to happen now is that you're going to look at another female's chart. You're going to ask yourself, do she compliment me? Let me look at her aspects and, and the placement she got. Is this something that we can work with? Can we work through this? Is this something that we can't work with? Is her chart out of whack or is it my chart too out of whack for hers? Or they just, that shit just don't go together, right? Those are the things you want to look at because at the end of the day, like I said, the ability to uh, use astrology to know how to date somebody is going to be an amazing thing to use if you know how to use it. Can she compliment you? Does her aspects compliment yours? Are there aspects that you got that y'all can work with? Is that a square that I can work with? Is that an opposition I can work with? You see what I'm saying? Don't get it fucked up. All trines ain't good. All trines ain't good in the chart sometimes. If you got too many fucking trines in your chart, what are y'all working towards? Where's the sparks that's going to initiate certain changes in your relationship? All those things are important, right? So those are little things that you want to look at, you know, and um, as you go further, you start to think about her chart. Now, keep in mind this. The moon in your chart is going to determine what type of woman you want to marry. The moon is, is this the type of woman I want to marry? Does my moon sign, whatever it is, right? Let's just take mine. I got an Aries moon. The type of woman I would date has to be an assertive, aggressive woman. I don't like no weak woman. I don't need no weak woman. Not saying she can't be sweet. Not saying she can't be feminine. I don't need no bitch that's motherfucking just, uh, 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 not that. I'm talking about, are you a strong woman though? Because I'm a strong man. And I don't need no weak woman. I need a woman that got my back. That stand stand by my side. I need a woman that's a leader. Because guess what? I got Aries moon. I need a woman that's a leader. I need a woman that's also thoughtful. Because Aries is also the sign of being selfish. But mine is in the eighth house. So you got to be considerate of the people's feelings. So I look at those characteristics of the type of women I date. And the type of women I would date. You have to have those certain qualities. When you start to know your chart, you'll be able to distinguish the difference between your Venus energy in a woman, as well as the moon energy in a woman. You'll be able to look at those type of things, right? Now, also check your Neptune. Now, the thing about Neptune is it determines the type of fantasy woman you like, the fantasy energy of her. In a woman's chart, her Neptune will determine how she views her own ideal feminine energy. It could be the feminine energy that she puts on in the bedroom. It could be the feminine energy that she feels like her fantasy self when she steps outside and she's in the nightclub. Do she act different when she's in the nightclub than she would when she's out and about or when she's home? All those type of things. You can see it manifest, right? Now, these are just some tips that you want to be able to utilize when it comes to looking at astrology to get into uh, dating and utilizing that. But I can't stress the first point is that you need to know your own goddamn chart first. Once you know your own chart first, then you'll be able to have a better awareness of why you attract certain type of women or why you're attracted to a certain type of women. And are these energies complementary? And what is it about these energies that I keep on finding myself getting intermeshed with? You know, those are the things you want to look at. You know, I didn't want to be too long in this video, but I wanted to let it be known that you do want to level up your game in terms of understanding women. And if you want to level up your game and understand the women and dating out here, dog, the next level and the final frontier of dealing with dealing with women is going to be using astrology to date. If you ain't on that level yet, <laughs> nigga, you behind. I'm telling you some real spiritual game. Use astrology to learn how to date. And choose the women that you fuck with. You will save yourself a lot of motherfucking time. Because you will realize two things. 
It ain't just about how fine the motherfucking chick is. Cause nigga, I could look at the chart and see fine women all day and look at her chart and be like, that motherfucker bad shit crazy. That motherfucker got moon squares, nigga. That's one of the key phrases I coined is that this bitch got moon squares. You, you, if you get into astrology, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, but yeah, you know, tune into the shit, man. And I'm gonna do a series of uh, a series of videos where we're talking a little bit about semen retention. No fat, but we're going, we're we're finally taking off and going deeper and deeper into the mysteries of just dealing with humans, women, your own self, right? That's what my channel is about, God King shit, man. So I'm Patai. Like, share, subscribe if you haven't. Thumb up this video. Stay on your shit. Let's get it. I'ma stay touching all kinds of paper. And I